Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Cowboys. This game wasn't tied for long. How about that? A big return here in the fourth. And this is every big play is magnified. Fourth quarter, kick return for a touchdown. You've got to feel great about your chances at this stage of the game. Yeah, they regained the lead. Now we'll see if they can hold it. Extra point up and good by Aubrey. And they will take a seven-point lead. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And finally, he's out of bounds, but not before a great return. He's all the way inside the 30. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. Play action. Now it's Lance. Getting this out to the flat. Moster. And he is going to lose yardage here. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Faking the give to Mostert. Now Lance. Throw right side caught by O.J. Howard. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. And Lance now to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Second and 10. Lance looks to throw again. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll try and run here with Mostert. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in they come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance here's first and goal Lance gonna sneak it and he gets halfway there down to the one yard line this has been an up and down back and forth type of a game hasn't it maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Ready? 
Second and goal from the one. Mostert will score. Touchdown, Miami. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble and bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked his special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Pollard will take it up the gun. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Now Dak. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it? This defense. Well, this crowd making it hard to hear. This is third and eight. Here's Dak. Going right back to Ferguson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 34-yard line. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second-year kicker. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And the kick is good. He got it. And it's official now. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.